Hello everyone, Jonas here, and I'm back to the Transformer review. So this time I look at my the Transformers Legacy Evolution Warrior Clash Dirge. Now Dirge here, I actually got this at Walmart. That friend was at Walmart. Now I was really excited. I finally found him, and unfortunately the package was damaged. I'll show you a bit. You can see I already come out. I already have the figures come out. I already does an opening. So I'm going to look at the focus on a quick look at the package. Let's take a look at the package. I'm very apologize. I already just opened. Yeah, it looks very nice. Cool looking art, but it's kind of ruined that some guy, someone got crushed the box. Someone did that. I'm okay. I'm not a fan of collector box. I don't care. You can see it in the nice little top. It says Transfer Legacy Evolution. It says Scanners. The other side is pretty much the same as art. On the other side, nice little image of Dirge in his robot mode. Very cool looking. And on the back, there is no bio. Unfortunately, there is no re-up. So, yeah. That's about the package of this. Is. And you can see it's already damaged the package. So, anyway, let's take a open up. Now, already open it. Let's take a look at the figure itself. Alright, we're back with Dirge out of the package. Now... In case you're not familiar, Dirge is a member of the Secret Jet, or known as Elite Secret Jet, aka the Coneheads. Not to be confused, the Conehead from the movie starring Dan Aykroyd. He is introducing from season two, and he's pretty much wrapped and tired in the season up until season three. He didn't die. He got in one scene. He got punched by the Ultraman to explode. Or I thought it was dead, but no, they're just a drones. They're like Seekers. They were like invisible. So that was it. He was disappeared. He was never seen him again. Now Dirge, he's a cone head. He's a repaint and retool from Star Trek. With, I'll show you about the robot mode. The face comparison. So yeah. So here's Dirge in his jet mode. He is a retool repaint from Star Screen And other two pack from Skyward and Bunnacracker. I will get that in hope. So yeah. He is pretty cool looking. He's more blue. Because I love blue. <laughs> The premise is the same figure, but nice little set to come logo. There's nothing on the back. And it comes with the same weapon as the premise, just like Star Screen. It comes with a two Nore blasters, two Nore cannons, just a black, it's a silver. So I think overall, it's a pretty nice little figure, this thing. Now, the Transformator Dirge is just like the Star Screen, but unlike Star Screen, first. Let's first do let's open this unconnect open. Pretty much just like star string. Let's unpeg this foot and unpeg this foot as well. Next is just like the regular. Now let's we'll start on. Now see that back. Then this is saying. Then we'll take on things here. We'll take this one. Oh, it's just open snap. Let's open up, and you can see there's Dirt's head, and. Uh, try and get a figure snap there. Now, next to do is start. Now, do the exact same. Let's on head here. And start connect. And right here is connect, and that's pretty much it. But let's not forget this cannon that goes peg holding the shoulder, which is just like Star Screen and the others. And that was it. So here we have Durs in his robot mode. This figure is stands about six and a half inches tall. Because the cones are really tall. Now, this area is pretty much like 
Now, the Transfer Legacy Dirge are pretty much like re-release of repaint from the 2020 of the 2-pack. That was the Decepticons Elite 2-pack, which is a Dirge and Ramjet. But speaking of Ramjet, I heard the big rumors that TFW 2005 was rumored that Ramjet was going to be the Voyager class, the re-release from the Legacy line. That would be credible. But what a reason, we only see released Dirge, but Renjet was nowhere to be found. We'll start with what the figures compares in this one. So anyway, speaking of which, let's take a look at the head sculpt. The head sculpt looks incredible. It looks a lot like cones. <clears throat> now I turn the lights on. It's, I really like this head sculpt. It looks like he has angry face. Nice eyes red. And the face are silver. Now, in the cartoon, Durge was face are black or gray. But in the toy, just silver. Apparently, they don't want to color black because, who knows, the rest of the body was overall nice. They're pretty much identical from Amazon from 2-pack. The rest of the body is nice. I really like his details in the back. There's no robot jumps. Nice little wings or legs instead of back. And yes, it has the same weapons in this one. Now, speaking of figures comparison, I'll show you here is comparison compares the figures. Then you can see there's the Amazon. There's there's the Elite Seekers two packs. There's Durst. There he is right there. Now here's the comparison. Now it's got the same face, same figures. This looks like identical. They're pretty much identical. They're pretty much exactly the same. Nothing changed. They look nothing changed. I think it would be kind of cool that Dirge would be a re-release one. As I said early mentioned. I think they only released that Trust. That was a Target exclusive. He's also expensive. There was also a variant that was the I think was somewhere at the Generation Sled, Mellaway, I think it's called Desert Ramjet. Pretty much the same old set color are based on G2, the unreleased canceled toy that never saw a light day. There was another one, I think it said Toxitron Warmer Exclusives. I think it's saying Cloud Sphere. I forgot his name. I can't remember. So it says pretty much repaints as sky blue, white instead of dark blue. And so and that's the pretty much it. Now, articulation for Dirge, just like Primus is this, looks like all the Seekers, his head on the bowl joint can free CC grease, can go up and down that much. His arms goes up and down, goes in and out. He has a bicep swivel, then the elbow, then hands up and down because of transformations, no wrist articulations, no waist articulation, his leg is forwards and back. Goes in and out that much. Thigh sole, then in the knee. Also, don't need ankle fit side to side. Let ankle fit. So, that's about pretty much articulations. So, there's my review of Transformer Legacy Evolution Voyager Clash Dirge. I'm very happy I finally have one. I don't have, like I said earlier, I don't have two pack of Dirge Ring yet. I don't have it, the two pack. That was the Amazon exclusives. If you want to see Amazon exclusives or buy a loose seekers, I think it's highly like best way was a price of money with this one. So I, like I said, I found there's a Walmart that cries is very rare, hard to find. These seekers are hard to find from Walmart. So yeah, I am extremely happy with this one. Like I said before, I was I heard rumor that Renjet was going to be coming the Legacy line or not. So I'm hopefully seeing fingers crossed. So fingers crossed we'll see the Renjet and Dross will see a re-release. This time without exclusives. So I'm hoping and very excited this is. So anyway, hope you enjoy this one. Let us know what do you think about. Let me know in the comments. Be sure don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So thanks for watching and goodbye.